Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be, um, I don't want to say like a tidy Tuesday. It's just going to be, here's what I think about. Have you ever watched planner videos and planners say they just don't have planner piece? Well, I don't have master closet piece. And so today I am going to Really? <laughs> so I'm going to be working in my master closet. I've just got to gain some type of piece that I don't have right now. And um, it's really bothering me because I want. Just what do you have to say? Say hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So I just want to be able to go into my closet and pick what I need and use what I need when I need it. And honestly, I need to pick and pull through some of my clothes because I tried on a shirt today. You can see it keeps moving. This is a size large and it is too big. It's one of my Nadine West pieces. So I'm going to actually have to go onto their website and resize myself for tops. But um, it's just too big. So I'm going to go in and try to pull out some of my uh, clothes and see if I can't find some semblance of peace right now because I just don't have it and it's really bothering me. So I'm going to take you into my closet and let you see what I'm talking about. It's, it's really late now. It's about 9 p.m. The kids are still working on homeschool. Um, we had Taekwondo, so we didn't get home till late and then we did some cooking. But I'm going to show you um, what it looks like and then see if we can't come up with a solution that works. All right. So here is problem number one. The first problem is I put an over the door rack and it won't let me close my door. Doesn't matter what I do. The door won't close or it just keeps scraping up there. So I have to take that down. The other problem is it just looks like I have a zillion clothes. Now I have a lot of clothes, but um, it's not as many as it looks. So I'm gonna go through and weed out and call out some of the clothes that um, are too big. And the last problem is with having my heels on the back of the door, when I come into the closet, I can't fully open the door. So. That's another problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove everything. I'm taking everything out of the closet and then I'm going to just rework some of the things. I've got some purses and stuff up there, but I think I have a solution that's going to work for that. So come along with me as the kids and I, well, the kids are just going to help me get everything out and then I'm going to go through and start sorting and then figure out how I can get everything put back in that's going to make me have some semblance of closet piece.
shirts. The shirts top up top. So okay. where's the rest of them? Yeah. Oh, this way. I'm gonna try to call some of them out though. Okay, these can go. Where are they going? To a good little bag or something. Or I want to do a clothing as well. I want to do a clothing swap. You know me, I love me. This will be for clothing swap. You need to do that. I'm actually excited. I can swap some of my clothes. That's a jerk. Take to the goodwill. We'll, we'll just keep them and try them.
Okay, you guys, so we are done in the closet. Um, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a long uh, journey and process to really, I'm still trying to find closet peace. Have I achieved that yet? I don't think so, but it's much better being that now ma'am actually can get underneath the clothes and my shirts were just so long that they were hanging on the ground and so she was getting on top of my clothes so now with the pants and the skirts on this bottom rack she's able to get into the closet if she wants to i mean it's just like dog hair on every single we just brushing everything off with those little lint roller things because she just sheds so bad um, so we got all the dresses and hanging things back on this side. Again, that's not my favorite, but it works because I didn't like the fact that the dresses were, um, not able to go all the way to the back because of this rack that was here. So now with the, um, blazers that are there and the shirts, there's very few long, long ones. And we just set those up on the shelf. So that helped out. Then we also, um, I culled out some of the shirts and some of the things that I'm either too big for me or I don't wear. And we went ahead and made another Goodwill bag. So that's what that looks like. We got all the shoes up at the top. And even though, like I said, the heels hang through the grates, nothing is under there. So it all works out for right now. Again, not my fave. But I do like the fact that the clothes can go, you know, to the wall. Back here, I did put up... Well, that's not a good angle. Let's see. Okay. So, back here, I put my shoe rack. The vertical shoe rack is back there. And I can put all the shoes I use the most down closer to the bottom. So, I'll be able to pick and pull those out pretty easily and simply. So, it just worked out. Again, perfect, no. I wish my closet were a little bit wider. It's, it's deep, but I wish it were wider. Um, that would help because I could put more shelving that way. But it works out for now. So I'm thankful for what I have. I'm not going to complain about what I don't have. It all looks perfect. And Alana did a great job helping me just hang the things back. Jackson helped me go through and do all the um, Goodwill stuff. So it all worked out. But anywho, if you like this video, be sure and to thumb it up. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. We'd love to have you as a part of our YouTube community. Share this video if you feel like it would be helpful to someone, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.